Divas. I have another painting for you. But first, I want to welcome everybody to Wanda's Work Basket for all things creative and crafty, and a little bit of inspiration mixed in. This is a diamond dot canvas. It's called the Vatican, uh, Vatican Sunset. It's not what it's called, Vatican Sunset. It has lots of golds and browns in it. Uh, and grays. I since I've been to the Vatican, I would I'd love to um, have this as a reminder of my trip. It is a Thomas Kincaid design, which means the artist is Thomas Kincaid, and they have paid him for the use of his image. And uh, I can't wait to show it to you. It's Thomas Kincaid is a light painter. He paints with um, not not light fingers, but light. Uh, light bursting out of places in his painting. This is a little bit bigger than the other diamond dots I've shown you. <laughs> it is a 52 by 20, 52 by 42 centimeter or 20 and a half inches by 16 and a half inches. And it does have his Thomas Kincaid Studios on the bottom logo. This is Vatican Sunset. Oh my. <clears throat> this is stunning. You see the Vatican, um, a couple of, two of the, the offshoots on either side, the uh, porticos, and the center with the obelisk in the center, and it seems like a sun radiating out from there. And the sky is purples and blues and oranges. You know how only God can put together purple and orange in a sunset and make it look good? That's what this is. Now, Diamond Dots. You can get Diamond Dots paintings at Joann's, at Michael's, and at Hobby Lobby. And sometimes you can find them online. Okay. Their kits are simple kits. They have a gray tray, baggies. This one has two diamond pointing pens and a squishy, and it has several multi-placers. Um, it has a, a thick number, a thick four, which I don't use the thick ones. It has a small and a large straightener, and it has a seven on here, and a pot of wax. More than enough to do your kit in. I want to show you <clears throat> the canvases are a stiffer plastic key canvas. They have a border around the edge of the field, um, the drill field, which is the, the picture, the actual picture you're going to be painting. I like that. I like the extra edge on the side like that. And um, it has a pinked and poked edge like all the good companies do, which means it has like a, a, a swirly, a decal edge cut, and it's also poked, like um, it's run through a sewing machine without the thread. <clears throat> okay, now I want to show you up close some of the symbols. I do believe uh, Diamond Art, uh, oh my gosh, I do believe Diamond Dots has a very good variety of clear symbols that they use. It looks like they have little guide circles around them, but they fade. Um, they fade underneath the color. They're just slightly either lighter or darker than the color that, that needs to put on it, so that the color around it shows through very well um, in the little diamonds between the diamonds, so to speak. And then you don't see much of that at all if you misplace diamonds or two, which we all do, so that's not a problem. It's got the greens, um, it's got the, the, the sunset sky, it's got the, the greens of the greenery here and the garden on the one side, it's got, uh, like I said, the porticos, and it's got light radiating out. Let's see how they're going to, to deal with the light. Now, Diamond Dots, again, does not... Um, <clears throat> does not uh, label their colors the same way that, that the other companies do with the DMC numbers, which is just a color number. So I'm going to show you the actual color side because you see more of the color this way than seeing the, the label. 
If you need a conversion chart to convert diamond dots numbers into the approximate DMC number, just email me at wonderswerkbasket at gmail.com and I will see that you get a copy. The, the copy was not it was not made up by me, it was made up by another diamond painter. And I will <clears throat> furnish a link to that site if you request that. These are some of the darker colors in it. Some of the darker colors in the kit here. I like to put the light back in the bag. <clears throat> and there is a surprise color in the end. I can find it. There's the purple. Ooh. Some of the lighter colors coming in here. The yellow. I like these Thomas Kincaid designs. They are absolutely stunning. I have this is my second one now, Thomas Kincaid design. And where is the surprise one? Where did it go? Oh, maybe I showed it to you already and I didn't know it. It has um gold, it has special gold. Thinking of the right one. I didn't fling it out, did I? I didn't show it to you, did I? It's a whole packet of special gold ones. Oh dear. Well, I will find them. Um, it has special gold ones that sort of come out. From the obelisk um, or maybe I was just thinking it should and I was going to replace them <laughs> with it I'll have to find that out um, but I was think I was going to make the obelisk um, the burnished gold um, uh, special drills and some of the lines radiating off the side I'm going to make a special uh, a special color with the um, the gold drills so that they shine in a very stunning way. These I believe are part of the sunset colors. Yes, that's where I would replace some of the diamonds. Let's see. I would put them in the obelisk. I would put them in some of the windows. I would put them in the lines radiating out from the um, from the center from the obelisk and I would maybe put a few in the sky like in the clouds just like AB drills in the clouds not the gold shiners but the the ABs I would put so you draw the you're drawing the eye out and then up and then out again so it goes your eye goes all over the painting at that point that's what I would do with it. With the extra drills, the special drills. Oh, and of course, when I get it done, I will show you. But this is one of those things. I was able to visit the Vatican um, about five years or so ago. Uh, six years now. And it was it was a wonderful trip. It was before, before the pandemic. Um, but yeah, um, absolutely beautiful trip, beautiful building. Um, I'm not Catholic, but I can appreciate the artistry of Michelangelo as it went into it. All right, so what I'm going to do is roll this canvas back up and put it back in the box and um, 
be eager to get at it. Thank you for joining me today. Let me know if you've ever been to the Vatican, if you've ever been to any um, religious sites that just impress the socks off of you. <laughs> I'd love to know. Put them, uh, Mention that in the comments below. Also mention if you would like a copy of the conversion chart between the diamond dots number and the DMC color numbers, just to be sure. Okay? All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. I will see you soon, divas. Bye.